Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. Our lesson is on percent increase or percent decrease. We're going to look at percent change and percent increase decrease. Here are the two equations that you'll need to know for this lesson. The first off is to calculate the amount of change. The amount of change you'll get by taking the new amount minus the original amount. And then the percent of change is that amount of change divided by the original amount, we multiply it times 100, and we'll show a couple examples of doing that. So find the percent change from 20 to 25. First off, we need to calculate the amount of change. We'll do that by taking the new amount minus the original amount. So in this case, that's 25 minus 20, which is equal to 5. Pretty easy. All right. So we know that the amount of change is 5. That's how much it actually changed. It changed from 20 to 25. It changed by 5. All right, makes sense. So we're going to write that down, how much it changed is 5. And then we're going to use the percent of change equation. And here it is. And now that we have the amount of change, we have our original amount, we can substitute those values into this equation and solve. So the percent of change is equal to the amount of change, which is 5, divided by the original amount, which was 20, and then we multiply that times 100. 5 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.25. We multiply that times, times 100, and that gives us 25, and then we'll have that percentage on the amount. So it changed, or it increased, by 25%. All right. So now we're going to find the, the percent change from 210 to 12. All right, let's say you invested in stocks lately or something. All right, so it went from 210 to 12. The amount of change, again, we find the amount of change by taking the new amount minus the original amount. So we're going to take 12, which is our new amount, and we're going to subtract 210. This gives us a negative number. It changed, it decreased by 198. All right, that's good to know. We'll put the percent, the amount of change, write that one down, and then substitute that into our percent of change equation. The percent of change equation, again here, the amount of change goes up top, so negative 198, and the original amount was 210, so that will go on the bottom. All right, so I think that the, the biggest place where people make mistakes here is getting the original amount correct. When it's changing from one thing to another, the original amount is how much it started at. Okay, 198 divided by 210 gives us negative 0 0.94. We multiply that times 100, and that gives us a negative 94%, about. I think there's a decimal on there, but um, the percent change is about negative 94%, which means it decreased by 94%. Went from 210 to 12, it's, gonna, it's decreasing a significant amount, so that makes sense that it would have a decrease of about 94%. All right. Let's take a look now at a word problem. Mr. Buffington drives his Batmobile to Philadelphia at 115 miles per hour. Then he comes home driving at 156 miles per hour. What is the percent increase in speed? And why didn't he just fly? We'll address that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and look. We're going to use exactly the same steps for solving this word problem as we used before. We need to find the amount of change. How much did it change? We take the new amount minus the original amount. In this case, 156 minus 115. That tells us that the speed increase is 41 miles per hour. I'm going 41 miles per hour faster on the way home. I'd like to get home, something like that. So let's go ahead and write that down. The amount of change is 41 miles per hour. And we're going to use that and substitute it into our percent of change equation. The amount of change, 41. The original speed was 115. So that's going to go on the bottom of this fraction. 41 divided by 115 gives us 0 0.3565, and it continues on. And we're looking for an approximate amount, so I'm just going to multiply that times 100. And that's basically like shifting the decimal two places. And I'm going to round up to 36%. All right, it would be 35.65%. So I'm going to go ahead and round up to the nearest percent. 
and say the amount of change, or the percent of change, I'm sorry, is 36 percent. I was going 36 percent faster on the way home. Um, and why didn't I just fly? Um, if you're riding a Batmobile, it means you can't fly. Too bad, Batman.